nation on edge, waiting for word on Nelson Mandela. The frail former president of South Africa is in the hospital again. The 94-year-old is a national and international icon. And ABC's Ron Claiborne, as we said earlier, is in Pretoria this morning with the very latest. Ron, good morning to you, sir. Hey, good morning to you, Dan. I am outside of the private hospital where we believe that Nelson Mandela has been since he was hospitalized late on Wednesday. There has so far been no update on his medical condition from the government. The last word we had, which came yesterday, was that he was responding well to treatment and that he had had breakfast and had eaten breakfast in his hospital room, uh, responding well to treatment for a lung infection. It was the third time now that he's been hospitalized since going back into December. And despite those uh, somewhat succinct and to some maddeningly vague government uh, pronouncements about his health, there have been some comments which seem to be alluding to his mortality. The president of South Africa saying that among the Zulu, the expression going home is another way of saying that somebody has passed away. Nelson Mandela's grandson saying that they are under no illusions. His words, given his age and his condition, Winnie Mandela, his second and former wife, saying yesterday, asking the public to pray for Nelson Mandela. These could, of course, be interpreted as preparatory comments to prepare the public for the possibility of the passing of Nelson Mandela. Of course, intellectually, people know that at the age of 94 with a lung infection, uh, this is a serious condition. But emotionally, when he passes away, uh, whenever that is, it will be a tough time, a real jolt for the people in this country. But Dan, again, the official word is that Nelson Mandela is said to be improving in a hospital here probably the one right behind me in Pretoria. Dan, back to you. But easy to read into some of those comments for sure. A lot of people very worried about what's going on in Pretoria this morning. Ron, great to have you there on that story.